I, I used love to your see suit. you. I love your suit. Mm -hmm. I love it. We're in the Christmas spirit. Yes. Let's do it. Super festive over here. Super festive. I mean, it's the finale of The Voice. Energy is great right now. We did the math. You've got a 20% chance of winning tomorrow with Lila. It would be your second win. Why should we bet on your team? Well, I like the idea of only having one artist from Team Legend in the finale because, you know, I think with Reba and Niall having two artists, it might split up their votes a little bit. Tough, yeah. Everybody who wants to vote for Team Legend, you've only got one artist to vote for. Vote for Lila. <laughs> Makes it real easy for everybody out mm -hmm. there voting. You know, this is a pivotal moment in any contestant's career. Mm -hmm. This moment before the finale, what kinds of conversations have you and Lila had over the past 24 hours going into the finale, bracing her for hopefully good news tomorrow, but you know, maybe the alternative too? Well, I think it really doesn't matter if she wins or not in so many ways. I think her career has already been set up beautifully by what she's done on the show so far. She's really distinguished herself as a great artist, as an artist who everybody wants to hear what her record would sound like. Everybody wants to hear what her songwriting would sound like. All of that has happened already, and whether she takes the trophy home or not won't affect that. But it'll be nice to win. We want to win, so vote for her. But either way, she's done so much to establish herself out in the world. She's sung in front of millions of people, and they've fallen in love with her. And no matter what happens, tomorrow with the vote, we know that she's accomplished so much for her career and set herself up really well to go on to succeed in the future. Yeah, we got our fingers crossed for Miss Lila. It's a wonderful time right now. We've got the finale of The Voice. We've got the holidays coming it's up. the most wonderful time. <laughs> I can't believe you just sang to me. This is literally what people pay millions for. It is the most wonderful time of the year. We're going into the holidays. And for you, what a beautiful year. A family of six. Yes. How will this holiday season feel different? Well, it's our first one as a family of six, so it's very exciting. Uh, Esty was born in January. Ren was born in June. So, you know, they've never had Christmas before. They won't really get it yet. Uh, but we're excited to have all of us together celebrating Christmas. We're not going to be working over the holidays. We're just going to relax and enjoy each other. And I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the holidays, and I'm excited you got a birthday coming up. Yeah. You have completed one half it of a decade. It often gets forgotten. No, it not, often not a, gets forgotten. Not on entertainment that, tonight. That between Christmas, New Year thing, it's, it's rough. No, December 28th is National John Legend Day. <laughs> you have complete. You will have completed half a decade. So yes. as this next half lies ahead, yes. what's a goal personally and professionally? Oh, you know. Personally, I just focus on trying to be the best dad and best husband I can be. And then professionally, I'm always looking to create and to continue to keep the bar for myself, the standard for myself really high. Every song I write, every record I put out, I just want it to be my best work. Every performance I do, I want it to be my best work. So I'm gonna just keep that bar really high for myself and try to meet it. My final question for you, we're so excited that you're back for The Voice season 25. You've been a mainstay for a couple minutes here now. How long do you see yourself being a part of this TV series? I love being a part of it. Uh, hopefully they'll keep asking me to come back, but I love doing it because I love the interaction that I get to have with these artists. I really get inspired by working with them. I learn something by trying to teach them and coach them and mentor them. I really learn a lot myself, and I think it's made me a better artist, and I get uh, joy just being able to make music with these really talented human beings who have a dream and want to be in the place where I am in my career. I get inspired, I get filled with joy through this process and I'm excited to do it again wow. in season 25. Wow, even EGOTs get inspired time and time again. I appreciate Absolutely. you. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you, have happy a happy holiday. holiday.